Hi guys, welcome to the 10th. My name is Chris, and today we're going to do a different beer today. We were going to stick with the West Coast style IPAs, but when I did that review, it became a kerfuffle of a mess. Uh, so I decided to change it up today. Today I'm going to do a beer from Omnipolo, but not the, uh, the one in Sweden. We are doing the one where they got contract out of Toronto. And today we're taking a look at Maz. Yeah, Maz is... Uh, Interesting. I like this. I like the can. I like the can artwork. It is a candle on this um, can. Um, this beer has been out for a while, according to uh, Rate Beer or whatever. This this won an award back in 2013. So I'm excited to try this one. So let's get into Maz. Let's take a look at it right here. This beer, uh, like I said, is coming from Omnipolo, contracted in Toronto. Uh, it's coming in at 5.6% ABV. It's in a 473 milliliter can, 48 IBUs, and the hops they're using on this one are Columbus, Amarillo, Chinook, Citra, and Simcoe. All right, so I'm excited to try this one. I can't wait to have this. It is an American Pale Ale, so let's get into this beer. Here we go. Like tons of hops. Freaking six different, uh, five different hops in this beer. Looks interesting and it looks pretty, pretty hazy. To me, it's hazy. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yellow body on it. About a finger and a half a head on there. Sticking around. That's not going anywhere. I want to smell this beer right now. Oh, this is a... Ah, you know what? It's got the five different hops in it, but the one that's you know really coming out and standing out for me right now is the citra hops, big time. Oh, that's a huge uh, juice bomb, and a little bit of that Simcoe hop, a little bit of that cat pea smell is coming through as well. Yeah, this one smells fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to drink this. Cheers. No lactose apparently. Sorry, Dan. Oh my God. Okay, they classify this as an oat pale ale or an American pale ale. This is a definitely a New England style IPA, 100%. And the oats in this thing just make the body of this beer like high end to medium. Oh, this is going down so nice and creamy and smooth and fantastic. Uh, so with that being said, yes, medium body on this one. It's only 5.6% alcohol. I don't expect to, to actually taste any alcohol on this one. And there's not. All right, so let's talk about the taste on this one. Yeah, you're getting all kinds of citrus. You're getting all kinds of tropical notes. You're getting stone fruits in this. This is a, a, a smorgasbord of a mess of every single fruit that you can think of with a little bit of a, a dryness at the very end and a touch of a little, uh, little bit of a pine resin on this one. This is fantastic. So first, you, on the first part of the sip, you're hit with that sweetness, but you're hit with that sweet citra. Like I just kind of spat everywhere. That was weird. You're getting a sweet citra right at the beginning. And as it travels through the palate, it starts to dry up and it starts to get a little bit bitter. And it ends with a nice dry finish on this one. This is fantastic. You know, I'm so used to drinking Omnipolo beers that are all just adjunct like crazy with, you know, all kinds of dessert flavors and, and you know, all kinds of uh, lactose and all that stuff in it. This is nice for a pure american pale ale even though it's a new england style ipa you can totally tell that this is fantastic and i wish i would have bought some more of this i think i might go back to the lcbo and pick up some more of this this is fantastic not much more to say on this one all i can all i can say on this is that this is a crusher i want more of this and i want you guys to go out there and see if you can find maz from omnipole i picked up the lcbo i can't remember the price I want to see, probably five bucks because it's on me polo, but I can't remember exactly. Guys, get out there and try this one if you can. If you can find the LCBO, you totally will not be disappointed with this beer, especially if you like the New England style IPAs. That, But this one isn't like your typical one. This one has a, a nice bitterness in it and a nice dry finish. So, you know what? It's probably one of those beers that everyone can drink if they, if they like the style. But anyway, I'm done with my own opinion on this one. And my own opinion is I want to get more of this. That's basically the gist of it. So I'm done. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit a thousand subs.
I cracked this baby open. I'm going to drink this one live. So I want to hit that thousand subs sooner than later. But anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Incoming hand. Bye-bye.